Hello, you're welcome to another beautiful day. This is a light for the nation. A daily devotional program brought to you by the Catholic Church. My name is Tony Abba. Today we are looking at the topic, Beyond Limitation. To guide us in today's reflection, we have Reverend Father Boniface Nebo. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friends in Christ, today we are reflecting on the text of Exodus chapter 4, from verse 1 to 17. Now, I urge us today to reflect on that text as we may not be able to read it all in this reflection. But it captures the life of Moses and his encounter with the Lord. He is a man of so many, an abundance of limitations. But he focused more on talking about his limitation and rather less of God's omnipotent and omniscient power over all creatures and over himself. His failure was more on that of God who provides for the inadequacies in the lives of every individual person. A lot are evident in the life of Moses indeed to, fail him, to make him feel less of himself. He lost and every one of us could lose our self-worth and fall into the error of a low self-esteem. Moses, from his very beginning, was conceived from the cry of the people of Israel in need of a leader. It was God who saw the need to raise a leader. Yet he himself, who raised this leader, made him to have some limitations. And all of that is pointed to something to show the glory of God that will be made manifest through the limitations that Moses himself is having. Again, God preserved his life when the slaughtering of infants was raging and very, very evident or was ongoing so that he could fulfill the destiny, the purpose, or the assignment that he himself has in stock for this little boy called Moses. He was born of a Hebrew woman, but again he grew up as an Egyptian, became a prince, but again the whole lot of events that happened in his life made him to fall very greatly from grace to grass. This because this was because he was he became a murderer and also a fugitive. Going from being a prince to becoming a shepherd boy. I think it will not be anyone's natural desire, but God has a lot that is a shepherd to his father-in-law. But that is God working out his own thing. He has a lot of designs. Now, aside the circumstances of Moses' background, he had personal doubt and insecurity about his own life and himself. Of course, he's a stammerer. stammerer. He had speech impediment. And even more to that is the fact that his history and the knowledge of him in, in Egypt was not even a good one. Thirdly, Moses not really know, he does not really know so well of what the Lord has in stock for him and the mission. And finally, he does not have or had no pass like the wise men and magicians of Egypt to work great miracles. But God started manifesting himself to show him that he needs not be afraid. Number one, he asked, the Lord had asked Moses to put his hands into his pocket of the, the cloth he was wearing. And upon bringing it out, the hand turned leprous. He asked him to return it again. The hand became pure and cleansed. Another second power of God made manifest in the life of Moses was again through his staff. He asked him to simply throw it on the ground. It turned into a mighty stake that could devour those of the magicians. My dear friends in Christ, we all have weaknesses. You have your weaknesses. 
everyone has his or her weaknesses. We have insecurities. You may have your insecurity and inadequacy, but all of these do not, and they don't matter to the Lord. They are no big deal. The message is clear. Do not be afraid. Do not fidget. Simply respond to God's invitation that he, he who has called you to go on a mission, and what are his mission? For the marriage, you have a vocation in the family to make things work and make the presence of God manifest in the life of those people. For the ordained, you have a great vocation, a bigger vocation to care for the flock because every one of us represent Moses. But in the midst of all this, let us not concentrate so much on our limitations and inadequacies that we will fail to embrace the responsibility that God himself has in stock for us in the assignment he has given us. You could be, you know, an entrepreneur, an employer, a boss in the office, but again, always bear in mind that you have flock and trusted that you have to lead by example. In the same way, God has solution for every of our limitation. We must learn to concentrate more on the power of God and his inter intervention and his own will to correct whatever limitations because he rides straight even on crooked lines. So, Moses' attitude is, number one, distrusting, distrusting God's ability and we must learn from it. Moses had to deal with this many times when faced with terrifying circum. If he was too full of fears. But when we are full of fear, something disappears from us. Faith. But when we are full of faith, something also leaves us. Fear. So I urge you, be firm in faith and be convinced more in the power of God who works perfectly well using every limitation, every inadequacy. As you step out today, the Lord will be with you, the Lord will bless you, and you continue to so sustain and hold your family in his love, not minding the limitations that surround you. May his abiding grace be with you always. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Reverend Father Boniface Nebo is of the Catholic Archdiocese of Abuja, guiding us in today's reflections. I believe we have learned how to live beyond limitation. There could be limitation in every aspect of your life, but with God, you will surmount these limitations. If you have questions or suggestions you wish to share with us, please send us a short message on the numbers displayed on your screen, or send us an email at ctvnigeria at yahoo.com. Or better still, post us a comment on our Facebook page. Let us interact and help one another to overcome his limitation or her limitations. Bye for now and have a splendid day ahead. Spirit of God in the clear running waters, blowing to greatness the trees on the hill. Spirit of God in the finger of morning, feel the earth, bring it to birth and grow. Where you
got the breath of the Spirit blowing in me. Blow, blow, blow till I be. But the breath of the Spirit blowing in me. Spirit of God, everyone's heart is lonely, watching and waiting, hungry until.